One of my favorite piano intros of all time is Bill Evans' intro in I Do It For Your Love from his album, Affinity. Listen to this. Did you hear those chords at the beginning? Where did that come from? How do you get to sound like this? Forget about the incredible voice balance and phrasing. Just listen to the notes he's playing. Those voicings make the piano sound like something I've never heard before. Listen again. And it's puzzling to understand why he's playing all of these notes when you look at just the chord symbols. These are all 7th sus 4 chords. The only way to be able to play something like this is if you understand 7th sus 4 chords like Bill Evans does. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. If you're new to MDEX Music, we create music books and apps, piano arrangements, and we discuss improvisation, songwriting, and sometimes we take music theory to strange and uncharted places. So subscribe and hit the bell and join us for exclusive access to our ever expanding library of music resources. Please stick around to the end of the video where I'll show you how to get a PDF with today's lesson. All right, so this is what he's playing. But when you look at the chord symbols, it barely makes sense. The chord progression is a simple D7 sus4 to E flat7 sus4 to E7 sus4. So here's your run of the mill D7 sus4 voice. And this is what Bill Evans is playing. Sure, the three notes from the regular voicing are right here, but what about the rest of the notes? The Bill Evans technique is to extend the chords as much as possible. All right, so a D7 sus4 is a D7 with a suspended fourth, replacing the third, right? So the basic seventh chord closed voicing in root position would be this. Now let's extend the chord by stacking thirds starting on the top note of that voicing, which is C. So we get D, G, A, C, and then E, G, B, D, and F sharp. And the next note would be an A, which is already in the voicing. Remember, it's crucial that we understand in jazz, chords are all about extensions or tensions, as we usually say. And unlike in an add 11 chord, the third appears above the fourth as a tension in a 7 sus4 chord. So in a 7 sus4, the third stops being a chord tone and becomes an available tension. And up here, we now have that B minor triad Bill Evans is playing on his right hand. The other thing he's doing is dropping the ninth E down an octave, making it a second. But to me, the easiest way to practice and remember this voicing is thinking of two upper structures, the add nine on the flat seventh and the minor triad on the 13th or the sixth. With this perspective, a D7 sus4 would be voiced as B minor over C add 9 over D. To get to the final voicing, I just think of two C add 9s in a row and a B minor on top. And then I just get rid of the highest and lowest notes of these two stacked add 9 chords, in this case the G and this C. So let's say I want to play this Bill Evans voicing over an F7 sus4. The flat 7 of F is E flat. So I just play two E flat add 9 chords in a row and get rid of the E flat at the bottom and the B flat at the top. And on the right hand, I play a minor triad on the 6th of F, D minor. When we put all of this together, we get this. 
the perfect Bill Evans voicing for a 7-sus-4. A 7-sus-4 with the 9, the 13th, and tension 3. And to play Bill Evans' intro in I Do It For Your Love, we just need to start on a D7-sus-4 and move it up chromatically, creating this sequence. All of our exclusive Access members will get a PDF with today's topic. If you're not a member yet, you can join by clicking on the Join button or the link provided. And remember, if you want to access all of our previous content, you can check out our Music Theory Journal, which is basically an almanac of all of the content that we've published for our members to this point. YouTube seems to think you're going to like one of these two videos here, so please stick around and check them out. It would really help us out. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you next time.